Okay, um, my name is John, I'm with Dirk, we're with Retro Arcade Gaming, and we are playing Pit Fighter, Pit Fighter. The one and only. Yeah, 1990 Atari game, and it looks like a bad action movie from the 80s. Yes, it does. <laughs> it's like, it's so, <laughs> really you, bad. You see, you see the, the, the slow plantings of what will eventually become Mortal Kombat. Yes, that's right, because Atari, <laughs> Mid, Mid, Midway made uh, Mortal Kombat, and yes, Midway did. is part of Atari. How about so, that? so yes, this was the original. Yeah, original. <laughs> God, this demo looks so bad. Wow, already. you know what I think about? I think about all those Sylvester Stallone movies when I see this, like <laughs> over, the, over the top. Or Van Damme. Oh, Van Damme. <laughs> Steven Seagal. Steven Seagal. I just, I just see it. It just smells like it. You know, yeah. it just like smells. <laughs> just testosterone out. Wow. Fucking. This Oh, Atari, Atari, Atari. Yeah, it's just uh, like, uh, uh, far look at that. Steroids, steroids. Steroids. You know, you know all those guys and making those movies and those <laughs> at that time are all fucking juiced up, yeah. too. Man. That's funny, though. When I saw this in the arcade, I was like so... Yeah, like, what, wait. When I did, was so stoked by it. When did you see it first? This was like that... that you this saw it first early, the arcade? This was in the early 90s. Yeah. I saw it, I saw it like a, at a pizza shop. Uh, that's where you first saw it? Yeah, that's where I saw it. Because uh -huh. I lived in the Bronx, and I just remember seeing it. I was just because like, you know this is like. Yeah, listen, I, I'm all with this you on is this. All rendered. I mean, this was cutting at the time, cutting edge. I'm pretty sure a lot of these people who worked on this game probably ended up working on Mortal Kombat. Possibly. We gotta I'm, look that up. We gotta fact check it. Yeah. We gotta throw it to the guys and who's doing that that yeah. Strider review. Yeah. But. But I said I saw it. I first saw it at a flea market, and then like I saw I saw it too, and it's like it blew my mind. I was like, oh my god, look at this game! It was so different than what right. you used to normally see. Right. And I was like, you know, the music just came on. Yeah. That's crazy. Oh yeah, I didn't even notice it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It even sounds. Better. I guess you know it's kind of like the 80s. It's, it's kind of like it's waiting for people to like just be mesmerized by the. By the attraction mode, yeah. it's like music. Put your quarters in now. Oh man! Du, 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 du. Yeah, it's like full, full audio. Yeah. All right. Oh, that guy was probably the model for girl. girl oh. <laughs> you think they used uh, some some old guys from this game to in Mortal Kombat? Oh, I'm pretty sure they did. I'm pretty sure a lot. Because I don't recognize any of those guys. Well, of know? course you're not gonna recognize oh, them. They're oh, probably, they're on makeup for Mortal Kombat. Because I know they they use. Other martial artists for that game, I mean, for for for, for um, Mortal Kombat, other mm -hmm. models, and I think they they even had a stupid show, like this martial arts show or something like that. Did you ever see that? Uh, sure. You don't even know. Oh, you know what? I, I don't even know. You know what? I'm getting confused. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm thinking about the Mortal Kombat movie, and uh -oh. they had like this show, and a lot of people for the Mortal Kombat movie was in that show. Oh. But really? yeah, it, it was a bad show. <laughs> I think it was made by a uh, uh, Linda Lee, Bruce Lee's uh, daughter. Really? And yeah, it was produced by her, I believe. It was it was bad. This is this is all pre. I mean, yeah, pre UFC. So, pre UFC. Yeah. God, thank God for UFC today. Oh yeah, thank God for UFC. <laughs> like that, you know, put all the myths to rest and all this good yeah. stuff. Yeah. Well, it's all all right, let's get to it, man. Yeah. Let's let's play. Let's enjoy this. Uh, let's get it. Walk back to this nostalgic nostalgia. All right. In the pit we go. Oh, you gotta press uh, this button. There oh, you go. there it is. Right, same mistake I made. Uh, I'm gonna pick time. I'm gonna be but I'm gonna be the pro wrestler. Ah. Uh. Uh, I can do a body slam, a headbutt. I shall show no mercy. Oh man! So we have to fight. Oh man! Ah, two what on happened? Two. Two we on gotta two. fight two. <laughs> two on two. Oh man! Dude, oh. We're gonna get back to that backstory once this is over. <laughs> why, why we're surprised? But okay. So, so this guy is called the Executioner because he wears a mask. He wears a mask. He yeah. wears a mask. And uh, look at all the people in the background. That's what I like. I like the cheering in the background. Oh, that's pretty neat. That's cool. I think knows, it reminds me of a GIF file. Yeah, it, <laughs> it does. I think, this is probably the precursor. Yeah, you know, I th and I think if you get close to them, they throw you back in. But I don't want to test it out. Come on, come here. Oh, you got him? Oh, you got the, you got the other guy? Oh, man. He just did a Is combo it, Oh, bad. Oh. <laughs> He's oh, making us a Wait, 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 wait. Oh, got him. Pow. Why am I down? 
Thank you. <laughs> you made it. Oh my god. Fight purse. Oh yeah, we get a purse. What? what? I got most of the fighting! <laughs> oh oh ah, yeah. bloody hell! Oh yeah. Oh no. Southside, Southside Jim, Jim, Mad Miles. Mad Miles. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be mad to come up with a nickname that's stupid. Matt, that's so and why is he wearing like sweatpants? These are so 80s. That's the look back then. That's the, like, oh god. Like, pink tank top. <laughs> I wonder how you do combos. I think you're thinking too street fight. <laughs> oh, well, am I giving this game too much credit? Uh, you're giving this game way too much credit. I, I would just think you can do combos. No, I, Street Fighter was, the I think, the first game to come up with a combo system like that. Oh, you mean so... Oh, this is an ongoing fight. So even though... It's not like your, your bar resets. Oh no? Oh, no, your bar doesn't reset. Oh, those quarter munchers. Oh, uh, totally a quarter muncher. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get this So this back. is like a... It's, it, it's like um, What do they call it? WWE. Oh, WrestleFest. Yeah, WrestleFest. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, that's another game that's on our list. Get that. Bam! Oh, we, we are monstering through this. Two KOs? I got two KOs, man. Finally. What? Finally. I, I'm, I'm pulling ahead and... <laughs> I'm pulling ahead in something. <laughs> Finally, took <laughs> took a couple of games. Uh, took a couple. Of oh, games. is it? Is it? What? Are, are we facing each other? I guess we're fighting each other. What? Yep. No. Hey, we're friends, man. Come on. Peace, friend. peace, brother. He said peace. <laughs> peace. Oh, so much for peace. Ah, <laughs> oh, <laughs> you and your peace. <laughs> oh, you you and your peace. You this bitch. This is why I'm thinking you're peace. Oh, how'd you pick me up like that, <laughs> you bitch? <laughs> I'm gonna kick you, man. I'm gonna kick you. Ah! Oh, oh. That's right. Man. That's right. That's why I think of your piece. Oh, so <laughs> Give me my purse. <laughs> this is knocked down. That's a way of stealing my quarters. I, I'm, yeah, I'm that's right. Hang your head. Back. <laughs> Hang your head. Power pill. Look for the power pill. Oh, Angel. Look at this. Wait, you fight women too? That's cool. Yeah, but I didn't get my. I didn't get my. That, that was such a cheesy way of knocking down somebody's Ooh. life. Oh, maybe I did. Maybe I had that life before. Oh, I died. Yep, you died. Oh, now you have um. There's um. What? Objects you can throw. Oh, cool. I gotta get this knife. <laughs> oh, they have like you can you can like stab people. There are knives. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is like a street fight. Yeah, that's what I think. That's what the whole thing is like. Uh, they're getting it off this '80s kind of street fighting. Genre of movies that that was coming out at the time. Oh, did they just like do a combination on me? No, uh -oh. I'm getting my ass kicked by this executioner guy. Fuck, I think I fucked them up. Well, you and your chaos, I hate you. Come on, come on, come on. Gotta get behind. I'll get behind her. Uh, oh, the ninjas. Man. That's right. I, oh. That's man. right. <laughs> we got Take that. a seat. <laughs> Damn, that fucking purse. buzz, man. It fucking jack, man. Yeah, no, it's, it doesn't have the greatest fighting mechanics. It's kind of... No, it, it's very... Yeah. <laughs> the controls suck, man. Yeah. yeah. You're kind of glad Mortal Kombat exists. Oh, God, and they're using the same... They're using the same, um... How many times do you have to fight these people? I think we're gonna... Wait, is... I think we... I think there's an ending to this game. Yeah, it's like you're fighting the same people. Well, we'll see, we'll see. We'll, we'll keep going. Oh, people can, like, like, hit you out of the crowd. Yeah, that's what I was saying in the beginning. What the heck? I think they could, like, if you fall into the crowd, they throw you back in. Oh, shit. Whoa, wait, whoa, wait, whoa, 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 hold on. Whoa, wait, let's talk about whoa, this! Hold on, let's hold talk on. about this! Gotta, it's gotta, okay, it's okay! Wait a minute. I'm like knocked down. Oh fuck! I go, we gotta separate. I'm gonna go up here. It's okay. All right. I'm all for peace and love and happiness. <laughs> Anyone got some brass knuckles? Oh man, this control yeah, suck, man. I know. Like, it this is, is so a, clunky. It <laughs> is beyond clunky. <laughs> Hey, you know what? I give them credit because they were like they were the first to come up with this kind of game, you know? Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> but, oh, like, uh, no, I'm still on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> you can get up. You just hit your buttons. Oh, I didn't even know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I found out too. That. Yeah, it's crazy, right? Oh man, that's the first I, I did badly on. Yeah. 
Grudge Match. Last fighter standing wins. All right, now Grudge match. I'm gonna kick your ass, man. Pow! Knockdown. Pow! I got this. Pow! Ah! Get the hell out of here! Come on! Come on! Come on! You can't block in this, right? <laughs> There's no huh? block. What? <laughs> <Yes. laughs> That's so cheesy. This is so That's cheesy. so cheesy. That's so cheesy. <laughs> That's beyond cheese. Oh man. Oh god, this is such a cheesy game. Damn. Brutality. See, that's where they got it from. Brutality. Oh wow. Chairman, Chainman Eddie. Chainman Eddie. Okay. Wow. He looks like um Eddie Batista. <laughs> he looks like he just, uh, Eddie Guerrero. No, no, no. Um, Batista. Dave, Dave, like Dave Batista. Batista. Dave Batista. Eddie, Dave Batista. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Conflagrated those two. Oh, he just like, wow. Uh, he just like gutted it's me. Some new characters, huh? I know they made ports for this, like for the Super Nintendo and everything like that. Oh or, god, those ports I, must have been horrible. Yeah, and I heard they were really bad. I mean, I never had. Yeah, <laughs> if the game itself is bad, then the yeah. ports could have been probably atrocious. Yeah, this is clunky, man. It's Fuck very... it. But you know, I like I said, I do appreciate that innovation. Keep it going. Oh, how did I do that little spin kick? Man? Is that I gotta figure that out. What? Did you see that? I, you can do taunts. I remember this. You can taunt. I forgot how you taunt them. Oh, can you? Oh, fuck. I forgot how you taunt. You go, oh. Oh, <laughs> it's yeah. a, it's, this is probably a combination of buttons. That's right. That's right. I mean, you know, like, I'm, just, I'm just trying to figure something out. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out, too. I think this is uh, oh, heavy, man, metal heavy metal versus CC, CC Rider. Rider. Oh my god. Oh lord. You can't get more 80s cliche than this. I know. And this music is horrible too. Wow. <laughs> Although it's interesting because they have like, they have pretty dynamic backgrounds as far as the train going by. Yeah, so you see a lot of this inspiration. That's true. I didn't even notice that. Like yeah, the train so moving they're, in the they're background. They're doing some nice things. Yeah. We'll give Atari credit. <laughs> Even though the yeah. execution is just absolutely horrible. Oh, you beat me while you're down, you little... I'm trying to figure out how... I did like a cool-ass spin kick, and I'm just trying to figure out how I did that. I guess I'm not going to figure it out ever. <laughs> nah, I'm just going to hit buttons. Oh! That's what it comes down to. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, What's so if you, so if you kick them while they, oh, well, this guy is kicking my butt. I am not doing good, man. <laughs> oh my God, Jesus, guys, guys, guys! Oh, you can stop them when they're down. Yeah, yeah, I just realized that too. <laughs> oh, wow, Lee. Look, look, I'm sorry, look, you know, I just whistled at your sister. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Wow, okay. <sighs> totally stunned. Stunly. <laughs> Looking. Oh man. God, this game is so cheesy. It is so bad. <laughs> Last fight, so okay. Bad. How many of these grudge matches do we have to have? Well, you know, you already but Oh, what? <laughs> wait a minute, I wasn't... I wasn't wait! What the fuck? I wasn't even ready, man. <laughs> Are you a little bitch, man? Little oh, bitch. I'm about to put an episode over right now. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Like, I wasn't even yeah, looking. That's that was right. like a dirty yeah. fight. Oh, oh. Sure. Are you tough enough? Are you tough enough? Oh, Ooh. Oh. You didn't see his name. Oh, oh. Kato! Kato! What was Kato. his name? Kato. Kato. Kato! Oh, yeah, Kato from the Street, from, uh, not Street Fighter, from Mortal Kombat. Kato. One Eye Guy. Kano, look Kato. at that. Is it Kato? It's Kato. No, it's Kato. Kato. And why is she glowing green? I don't know. She's poisoned? <laughs> oh, they're just like punking me right now. I am gonna kick. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. 
Oh, no. <laughs> but that's what I expect from 80s. Uh, oh, gosh. Players. Uh, you know what's funny? You see these games that were like state of the art and then you realize they, they <laughs> no, were just <laughs> state of. <laughs> uh, what's the word? State of. Oh, state wow. of trash. What's it? State of trash. What the heck? I thought he was like the final guy. That's not the final guy. The final guy is like some kind of, uh. What a good gimp. No! <laughs> so oh, gimp. you ain't haven't fought him yet. Yeah, he's like a, you know. Fighting in lingerie. Oh. lingerie. oh, you picked up a motorcycle? Yes, you can pick up a motorcycle. <laughs> pick up a car? <laughs> oh, you can pick up vehicles! You can't pick up vehicles. Maybe you can. They are. Just stick it out from the background. Maybe you can pick it up together. I don't know, we gotta try. KO bonus. What's oh. this? Brutality bonus. Yeah, yeah, I'm you, you, like you, that. You, you had taken a lead. How many matches are there? Damn, what? And we're I, fighting the same my people! God, oh my god. Oh god. You gotta keep at it. Don't tell me this is one of those games with no endings. <laughs> I'm starting to get a gauntlet sense here. No, 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 it can't be. It can't be. We gotta see. Well, there's a pit rider, so. <laughs> yeah, there's a pit fighter, right? You go into the deep in the pits. Yeah, I know, but oh, there has to be. Again. Watch, I'm telling you. I watch. They go and just keep recycling these matches. Well, you, well, we did recommend this game, so <laughs> I blame it on you. Right. Uh, what? <laughs> I recommended this. Yeah, you recommended this. You're Are like, you serious? You're like, what pit fighter? Yeah. <laughs> And I was like, oh yeah, Pit Fighter, yeah, let's try it. Pit Fighter? I recommended this game? Yeah, you recommended oh, this. Oh, God. Don't ever listen to my recommendations. <laughs> well, you know, it's a good recommendation because, uh, like, like like, I said, it was a it was a standout game this for is, its time. Well, you know what's funny? Remember, this is Atari, right? You know what this looks like sometimes? It looks like it's for the Atari 7800. We really just look at, like, the blockiness, the fact that the background is, like, a, uh, a, gr a gradient. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like it's for the Atari 7800. It just doesn't feel like it should be, like, it doesn't feel like it's an, like, an arcade cabinet game. Well, no, I mean, we say that now, but, you know, at, at the, the time, time, seeing it in the arcade, you, like, totally, you wanted to play it in it. I mean, yeah. after you played it, you got over it, because you, you died real quick. <laughs> yeah. Damn okay. It. Okay. I'm just beasting you. But let's. Uh, I know, man. Okay. You, you should have I a have, grudge by now. I do have a grudge. I don't know. <laughs> Sup? Yeah! Yeah! Finally! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> That's like right, Kato. That's right. Yeah, take <laughs> Yeah, looks like you can't buy your... How much money you get? <laughs> right? What the hell? Guess you can't buy that your next round of steroids. There was nothing brutal <laughs> so about that. Go choose somewhere else. <laughs> uh, uh, these, again? Again, exactly. I think I think we got a gauntlet situation here. No. I think we need to let our viewers know... This because the background be is different, that's why. We might have, might have to issue a gauntlet alert, folks. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> the cool. background, the background's different, so it may All be, right. it may be like a, there may be an ending. There may be. Uh, we'll see. I mean, we kicked these guys' asses like eight times already. I know. They just keep coming back for more. <laughs> Is there no other fighters in the world? No, apparently <laughs> there isn't. Unless we're all trapped in this pit yeah, and we're just that. trying to <laughs> fight for freedom. Maybe that's the, that's the really that's the true narrative behind this entire story. We're stuck in a pit and we're trying to fight our way out. <laughs> trying to fight fight our way out of this game. <laughs> oh boy. And golly, this guy just has the worst wardrobe ever. Like, who <laughs> no. told him at, at least CC Jim is like uh <laughs> I mean, C oh. whatever his name is, uh, CC Rider, yeah. CC Rider? It's CC Jim. <laughs> CC Jim Buzz. I will say this, though. I don't like the fact that my punches are not landing. But you notice how their punches are, like, landing on you, like, twice as hard? I think because, uh, we're, you know, progressing in the game, so they're gonna hit harder, right? They're not hitting harder, I just think... Oh, they're just landing better. Yeah, they're just, their punches are just connecting faster. That's what you call 
poor programming. <laughs> you should get some more. Cause you actually KO'd folks. Yeah. There you Happy, go. you're there in you the go. lead. That's right. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's where you belong. Who is it? No it's pain, match, no, gain. no pain, no gain. Oh, here we go. I think this is guys. This is it. What the hell is, is that? That looks like something for me. <laughs> that looks homo erotic. That, 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 that looks kinky. <laughs> Whoa. S and M. <laughs> like that, that just didn't look right. Yeah, it didn't look right at all. Well, at least <laughs> we're getting out of this pit finally. Yeah, yeah, kick, kick. I'm pretty sure we've used at least three dollars worth in quarters. I all. Oh, what am I doing, man? Oh, they just bitch slapping us. Yeah, they got got right in between. Me. <laughs> God, <laughs> they're, they're like <laughs> raping you, man. Like, no. Double teaming you. Man. <laughs> 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 I don't want to be. I don't want to be double teamed. You saw what just happened. You got sent across the street. I know. Holy crap. I don't. I don't think I want to be in between these two guys. Ah, uh, no, dude, underwear, that's not gonna end well. Underwear and chains. You know, oh, let man. me go back to my boxer. What? My wrestler, rather. Because these guys are just making mincemeat of these martial artists. No. I need a wrestler. I know. Oh, well, we're down to one, so that's good. Bam! Fuck them up, man. All right. Totally studly. Totally studly. You gotta say it with the deep voice. Studly. Studly. Ah, <sighs> you just cleaning up. Yeah, finally, I pulled in the lead. Mm hmm. Elimination match. Winner yeah. goes to championship. Okay. So are we finally fight? What? We gotta fight each other! Uh, I, uh, but, uh. Oh, you're going down, you bastard! You're, you're, you're going down, down. You're, you're going, going down, down. down. you're going down! You're going down, bitch! <laughs> you're going down! Eh. Uh. Oh, yeah, that's like, right. Sit down. That's where you belong. Uh, 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 oh, that's I'm right. Get you for NBA Jam <laughs> and Pummel <laughs> Fighter and uh, right. you know, all these fucking other games. You gotta fuck me you up. You're hearing oh, all the aggression come out over, at this over point. the years. Uh, over uh, the years, uh, fuck you up. You bitch. fuck me up. I'm gonna make you my bitch, bitch. <laughs> what, 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 what are you gonna do? Uh, what are you gonna do? Come on, come on, come on. Ah, you saw that back fist. Uh, come on. Fuck, fuck you up. <laughs> oh, God. It's uh, gonna come down to one. <laughs> it's gonna come down to one. Come on, come on. It's gonna come down to one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna come down to one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna come down to one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna come down to one. There can only suck, be man. one. As there only. That, you know, that's it's, it. it's I your initials. I can't play anymore. It's your initials. You, you have to win this, Now you man. get to watch. Oh, you get man. To watch I don't want you. I don't want to watch. You're be that's the awesomely done. It's going to be awesomely so. Awesomely done. There can only be one. It's <laughs> awesomely done. Thank oh, you very man. much. You that's play the last match. That's I'm getting, right. I'm getting bored already. <laughs> You're getting bored already. <laughs> see, <laughs> see how high I'm going up? You see that? Yeah. You see that? Go buy your... Uh, it looks, your it, you look so small from down there. Go buy your pharmaceuticals. <laughs> go buy your juice. <laughs> go buy the steroids. See, exactly. There can only be one, my friend. Ah, only fuck. one. one it's like and some only one. double dragon shit, man. Right. Uh, Don't let me down, man. You better win. I bet. Of course, I'm gonna win. win. Better. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you up, <are> man. <laughs> Don't lose to that gimp. <laughs> he is a gimp. Wow, they got oh, all man. this crazy shit. Here. Oh man, you better use some weapons, bro. What are you doing? Uh, go, Whew. go, man. Oh, what? The? Come on. Oh man, he just socked you one. I'm gonna give the color commentary. Okay, <laughs> Buzz is in the red tight pants, and oh, just a suplex and whoever that guy is, <laughs> Warrior. His name is Warrior. Warrior just got stabbed. The warrior. Stabbed by a bystander. Come on, Buzz, hang in there. Get up, get up, and another suplex by the Warrior. Oh, cheap right. shot. Got a drum. Come on, Buzz. You can do it. Hang in there. Hang in there, Buzz. Yeah. Woo! What's <laughs> happened to me? What, what, what I just that? went all green. Went all green. I don't but. know what I did. Maybe I'm like, maybe my hits Buzz, double or triple. Buzz, studying for his doctorate. <laughs> 
in, uh, art, in art history is 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 doing. Oh, you can't get <laughs> What is this? Ah, crap! Uh, okay, on, I got him in. The, oh, I had him in something. like a good place where I was like hitting him and. Oh, oh man. no no no! I'm not fuck? done yet. What is that? Oh whoa! Thing? You saw oh, that? Man. He just kicked me right across the Oh, you in the fucking audience? He bitch kicked on. me. Oh man! Come on, do something, man! I'm trying you, to do something. You suck, man! If that was me, <laughs> if that was me, it was totally different. No, dude, you would have been like on your eighth quarter <laughs> by now. <laughs> It would have been totally different if that was me. I wouldn't be getting knocked around like that by Warrior, by some guy. Shut you up. You suck, man. I can't believe this. Shut up. <laughs> Do you realize the entire quarter I didn't even lay a hit on him? You're, you're I didn't lay one this. hit on him. How long did this match last? This was already 30 minutes already. Come on. Come on. Come on. I thought this... I, th <laughs> I thought this... Um, oh, God. This episode would have been over already, but we're just watching you play, man. Come on. Oh, man. Oh, I'm man. trying to end it. Look at this. This oh. guy's not easy. Boo, boo. What do you mean boo? I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> what do you mean boo? Boo, I'm rooting, nothing. I'm rooting for the warrior now. Come on, warrior. <laughs> Kick that buzz, motherfucker. Shut Kick up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> this is your, Damn, this Penny. This is your third quarter. Penny. <laughs> you petty because you're not going to let me win. Oh, man. Look at Look at the buzz, man. I'm trying to help the guy. <laughs> See? The noob. About time. That's, oh. that's right, ladies. Uh, Come hello. up here. That's right. That's Party right. That's right. That's right. Hashtag yeah. feminism. That's right. <laughs> that's, right. <laughs> that's, right. <laughs> that's, that's right. She knows where to start. Oh, shit. Hashtag feminism. Hashtag kid fighter. <laughs> oh, God. Money and women. That's a thing. That's oh a, god! That's a prize. Oh, oh that's man! That's your prize. That, that game was this game was pretty awful. Awful, <laughs> <laughs> awful was putting it nicely. It was oh man, catastrophically bad. I you know what the look of it was it it, it for the time it was appe appealing. The thing is just the controls really sucks, man. Well, they, it's an Atari game, so you shouldn't be surprised. I mean, all no, Atari games no. have this issue. All Atari games. Like really? The, I mean, you they know, just have strange control issues. Like I remember when there was a big deal because they came out with the new Matrix tie-in game. Yeah. Those controls were horrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they have like blind people working on it. <laughs> oh, I don't. Man. I mean, and not I, look. No are offense. Talking, wait, no, I'm just like saying. Like Matrix. Yeah, yeah it stuff. was just bad. It was like, how can you be this incompetent at setting controls and know. you know and, and optimizing the. Just and the controls the can make or break a game, right? Completely. The controls can make the game fun if you know how yeah. to do it right. And it just in this yeah. case, it had to look, uh, you know, for the, for the time for that yeah, 80s for that look. Time, right? yeah, yeah, it had the look. It, it, it was it had the atmosphere, but the what the biggest downfall what it was is the controls. The controls was just really clunky, Hard. really bad, Hard. and and, it, and the programming was bad too. I mean, it's like you you never know when you're landing something, right? Yeah, I mean, know. when you when you playing Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat, you you know basically when you're landing a punch, it feels like you're landing that punch. True. Here, you just you know you're just hitting the button and hoping that something connects. Yeah, it doesn't even feel like you're hitting or I don't know. It just needed to be programmed better, and the controls needed to be better. I think if those two were uh, uh, done correctly, then the game would have been pretty good. And and another thing I think was pretty bad is that <laughs> they were repeating the sh you know the enemies a lot, oh, right? Yeah. I mean, how many times did we fight a uh, CC Rider or you know Southside? Uh, Southside, Southside, whatever. Gym, Southside, you, you know, know, which is a rip on Chicago. Go figure. But yeah, um, yeah. is it? <laughs> yeah, Southside. That's, that's the rip okay. Chicago. And he was black, of course. Oh, so oh, figure. oh yeah. really? See those stereotypes, folks? Stereotypes. All those stereotypes, stereotypes on display for you. <laughs> you stereotypes. Got, you, you got the, like the, ster Martin. the steroid American wrestler. You got the, <laughs> the, 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 the Asian martial artist. Yeah, the, the sort of very stereotypical yeah. <laughs> martial artist. You know, and, and the the, the, the the right in between guy. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> the right in between guy. You know, we which like would two, be two different parents. Which would be Cody. If we Co would translate Cody. this fight to final fight, you had Hagar, it's, Cody, it's, and yep, Guy. That's Cody. How, <laughs> how funny is that? Yeah. That's hilarious. Oh man. Yeah, they just need a they just need a lot more. It uh, was uh, a gimmick. Like the look was definitely a gimmick. It, like I said, for its time, it was doing something that was pretty nifty and neat. But, like, when you actually play it, 
It is so clunky. Yeah. Like, too clunky. Yeah. Wow. Pretty bad. Like, <laughs> I don't know how... I do like the. I don't know how they even ported this. <laughs> you know? Like, how did this port even get like okayed? Yeah, I know. I do like the backgrounds, though. You know what? I, the, I backgrounds, like the backgrounds. You know what? They were doing some interesting things. Elements we talked earlier about how they have dynamic backgrounds with the that the subway yeah. level. They have the actual subway car. Yeah, and then they had it's interac- they, they had interaction with people in the background. Yeah, I mean, you don't the crowd see can that. like hit you. Yeah, and throw. I guess items that you can use as yeah weapons. you know and you don't see that with fighting games nowadays either you know they just you know you see background characters but they don't have yeah. a level of interaction with what's going on that's true yeah cool. they're more or less just a backdrop yeah exactly it's a backdrop yeah but so. this is just so 90s American exceptionalism and just yeah indulgent this is bad god Jesus yeah it's thanks for that recommendation it was Dirk who recommended this. Yes, Dirk made <laughs> Dirk. this recommendation. I don't, I'm not proud of it. Like I said before, no, it's like I take it back. It's a it's a good rec- it's a good recommendation because, like I said, it just it, it just won your attention once you walk into the arcade or where flea market or wherever the pizza, pizza shop. Pizza shop. I think you know. maybe I was more nostalgic about the pizza because obviously this game sucked. Hey, so do you ever have that strange? Um, I don't, what do you call that? A connection? When you see when you play an old arcade game, do you ever smell like pizza? Yeah. Like, yeah. Anytime, I play, <laughs> pizza. anytime I play Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I smell like. Yeah, it. yeah, that's so yeah. strange. It's almost what, yeah. you, what do you call that? It's a psychological term for that. Like, a, right. I don't know. It's like somebody knows that. Please put it in the comments. Yeah, section. please put it in the comments because uh, I do get this when I play like games that I know I played a lot of games in the arcade. Like, um, uh, I know I play a lot of, which was Street Fighter, mm. and. I do, and Street Fighter was always in a pizza shop. Mm-hmm. I always get that garlicky mm-hmm. pizza smell on my nose. Yeah, that's, you know? that's pretty cool. Yeah. With Sonic, you know, it's same thing with Sonic. You know what? Sonic is Christmas, right? Right. Because, I, you know, whenever I hear that jingle, it's almost like a drug, mm, right? That's interesting. You know, it, it, yeah, it throws me back to Christmas, Tender. you know? Yeah. yeah. And well, you know what? I get a similar sensation when I play Super Mario 3 because I got it for Christmas so when I hear that play every yeah. coins I get that recall yeah? yeah. oh man yeah yeah, yeah it's, it's funny how like the, those experiences bring back certain memories except for this except this for this like bad memories that you know what I was actually a young blood growing up during the release of this game which I embarrassed to admit I will never admit to a millennial that I actually saw this game and wanted to play it. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> no, you'll just see it. You'll just walk right by it. Or something like that. It's like, oh, me? Play this game? No. <laughs> I never heard of it. No, uh, no but, like, um, did, you know, heads up to Atari and Midway because this kind of led to them perfecting what was, you know, to be Mortal Kombat, right? Or you could say opinion. this was Midway's, I guess... Lit, litmus test for what eventually became like because if Mortal you Mortal Kombat because they didn't they didn't collaborate with Atari and Mortal Kombat that was strictly their, their, yeah. their brainchild so well who what do you mean what are you talking about Midway huh? Midway oh. didn't collaborate with Atari and really Mortal you think it was just the, there was no influence between them I mean look no, at this no, and I'm look at that no I'm saying that they learned from this game yeah yeah took it and they made it their own kind of, it's kind of similar to what Mario because look at, think about the evolution of like let's say like Street Fighter 4 right All between right. Street Fighter 3 right yeah. I mean Street Fighter 3 and 4 didn't, they just didn't come out and it lo- 4 looked like that no I mean mm-hmm. like there was a bunch of Street Fighter 3D EX games that came oh, out right. and there was a bad right mm-hmm. and, but they had to you know they had to perfect it and evolved and I, I feel like when they got the 3D technology just right and how in terms of in terms of how to program it mm-hmm. it became the Street Fighter 4 right yeah. where it was still 2D but with 3D elements in it right you know what I mean well they, they realized what made Street Fighter Street Fighter Three, uh-huh. the 2D it wasn't 3D 3D was not kind of, it's kind of the lesson that Sega never learned with Sonic uh, Street Fighter is 2D. It's yeah. just a 2D game. Yeah. It just works in a 2D. They just 3D modeled, you know. Yeah, they like, 3D modeled uh, it, but they kept it like a pseudo 2D, yeah, which yeah, is yeah. fine because you still. It's not. It's never going to be Virtua Fighter. It's never going to be no. Tekken. It's never. Yeah. It's never going to be Soul Calibur. It can't be that. And when they tried it with the EX series, it was just horrible. It was because bad. Those yeah. Those mechanics just. It was just a. 
bad, bad direction. It, it yeah. was just, but what I'm saying is that this, yeah. the, this evolution of yeah. like trial and error. Mm-hmm. See, so when I see the game Pit Fighter and like Atari and their relationship with Midway yeah. or something like that, well, I, I would say that maybe it evolved. It, they used maybe a similar technology or it evolved right. from that, right? You know, like EX, right. and, like you cannot say that Street Fighter 4 and EX did not, if, uh, that did not influence of each course. other. No, no, there's definitely, um, there's definitely um, inspiration. I think, I'm just saying that you know, Atari was a guinea pig. Midway saw what worked and was like, okay, so, hey, we're going to make sure Atari has no input in what we're doing here. <laughs> you know, we're going to... Yeah? Are you sure about that? Like, yeah, Atari had no input in the first Mortal Kombat, unless I'm wrong. I mean, from my understanding, that was Midway's... They, they, they developed that from the ground uh, up. Right. I think some of these... The personnel on this game may have eventually worked on Mortal Kombat because there are certain... Not, not because the way they throw the punches, it's a little yeah. similar. It is similar. Know, yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not disputing that. I just feel like, I don't know. I just feel like they there were certain takeaways that they took. It's like my favorite story is what happened when um, Dreamcast came out because Sega collaborated, at least for the operating system, they collaborated with um, Microsoft. Microsoft actually created the operating system that the Dreamcast ran on. To make oh, really? it more accessible, yeah, it's a really interesting fact. Oh, they because that was the biggest um, ding against the Sega Saturn. It was hard to program for yeah, it yeah. because it was using all this fancy technology that you know you had to basically have like a PhD in programming in yeah, order yeah, to yeah. decipher. So it was like, okay, we're going to collaborate with Microsoft and we're going to create an operating system that is accessible to developers. Yeah, okay. You know, because they wanted to get more third-party support. All right. Oh. So the story is, is that Microsoft took a lot of lessons from having worked with Sega to develop their latest console because they had to create the operating system for it. Oh. And they took those lessons and that's what laid the ground for the Xbox. Oh, get it. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's an interesting story. That's interesting. Where'd you find that out? What's, um, what's, the, what's the source on that? If people want to Yeah, I just, uh, probably wiki or just like yeah. random blogs. That yeah, talk about the that's so interesting. I got to look at that up because. Yeah. Because Console Wars, they, they only covered, like, that's the only thing I read about gaming or something like that. And then they only covered up to the, uh, when PlayStation came out, I think. And then that's when it, the whole thing stopped. Mm-hmm. Because it would be interesting to see, like, a continuation of the wars between, or if you would like to quote, I, I say, quote, unquote, wars between Microsoft and Sony mm-hmm. and Nintendo and, and see if there's still like some kind of like thing going on or one is trying to out- there has to be one thing that, that you know they, there has to be a thing where they're trying to outdo each other like the gold uh, 16 bit console wars mm-hmm. I mean I don't know because that's an interesting factoid that would that would be of interest in terms of that time of, of that time you're talking about right you know because look at of this. these systems right. Because at that time, I mean, even the story of PlayStation, which you already talked about, and I know Council Wars, the book you you read recently talked about mm-hmm. how Sony at the time was not a player in gaming, but it was the right. relationship they had with Nintendo, if I'm not mistaken, or one of those console developers. I think you say it was either Sega or Nintendo. No, but Sega pulled out. Sega like, pulled out. Yeah, so yeah. It must have been Nintendo. Yeah. Because Nintendo eventually... They were thinking about going the car- the CD route, but then they said, "No, we're going to stick the cartridges," and that's when they eventually yeah, see, the think, technology yeah, for I the Nintendo 64, yeah. and that's what pissed off Square at SquareSoft because he wanted to develop Final Fantasy VII on the CD format and not the cartridge, and that's why SquareSoft put mm. Final Fantasy VII exclusively on the PlayStation. Oh, yeah. So all yeah. these factors. Uh-huh. Yeah, I like, really, you know, the history I know, is really cool. Yeah, and I would like to know that it's stuff. Really cool. I would like I would love to read up on that, you know. But it's just great how Sony and Microsoft they learn from working as a collaborator with these at the time behemoths um, companies yeah, yeah. being Sega and Nintendo and now they're like eating both their lunches one is eventually just one into software and the other is kind of like still relevant but I think eventually people are just going to get sick and tired of well that's well, neither here nor sick there. Sick and tired of who? What? They're going to get sick and tired of all this hardware that Nintendo releases. Uh, it's going to eventually yeah. come to that because nah, gaming is that's becoming the thing. Nintendo, is Nintendo is like you You would think that they would stay down and I no, would think that gonna, I, I would think that too like the whole Genesis yeah. thing because yeah. Genesis was on top. 
Yeah. For a long time, they were stopping it to Nintendo, but Nintendo always has a way of creeping back. Because they were know? originally a toy company. I'm not. Yeah. I mean, they were like, a card company. Like a card. Like a car, they they, they, they play. Yeah, they, they, they made playing play, cards. Yeah. So they understand the whole economics of scarcity and like you know really creating a, that's a, true that's a, a good ca- point culture around their products yeah, yeah. you know that's a good point they, they good mastered point, yeah. that so that's why they stay relevant that's why they're able to put out new products that yeah. eventually become paperweights like yeah. three years later and people still buy it yeah 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 except for me i don't <laughs> except, <laughs> except, me, except, except, for, you, except for that new zelda I, I still haven't gotten that yet and i, I want to kind of curious but, uh, uh, well, it sounds like Breath of the Wild. Nintendo finally decided to take some. But they they can't. They, you know what? What's the sad thing is that like they're so geared to a certain audience, a, a certain kind of. Uh, you know, they have their certain characters, but yeah. they are not. Ma- they they don't make games like Xbox or Sony that's just geared to an audience that grew up with games for mm-hmm. gamers, and they're now adults. And but they have all these serious. Now games has evolved to have all these mm-hmm. serious like stories I mean yeah. kind of novel like yeah. when you read like The Last of I mean I, I even said it read where <laughs> when you play Last of Us I mean like come novel. on I yeah. mean, I mean there, a, that, that's some there's some serious storytelling in there there's some serious mm-hmm. elements and it, I just still, I just feel like Nintendo is still kind of like well maybe that's why it stays relevant because you have Sony and Microsoft for that niche but if you just want to just play a fun game that doesn't have some sweeping encompassing narrative that's going to make you think Yeah but that's all you think life. of it you think of it as just gaming as games they just stick to that as a like oh we make video games it's like toys like Mattel right it's but just like they that's, that's, that's what that's what they do they yeah. they I feel like they just make toys you know and not like like um like when you see Sony or PlayStation or like these other companies, they're using that as a catalyst for storytelling, or, or you know, they, it, I've seen like these games just totally just took on a different kind of level, and and not in a cheesy way where they did like the old Sega CD games, mm-hmm. which I think Sega wanted to do with like Night Trap and, and Sewer Shark, but right. never really was really successful in just just delivering a narrative in combination of good gameplay mm-hmm. and I, I feel good to say like nowadays if, you know it's good to be a gamer you know at a at a later age because you know you can appreciate the story the, you can appreciate how the gameplay inter you know interacts with the story and everything how everything comes together as a cohesive sort of unit and Nintendo is just still I'm making Mario I'm making Zelda but Nintendo's um, still making that money so no, uh, yeah, but, but, but kid market but, is a big but, market. But they realize that if they, because look, they appeal to the kid demographic because they know that's where the revenue is. They know that by making a kid-friendly game like Pokemon and Kirby and Mario and I don't know um, whatever other franchise that they just roll off the roll off the assembly line, they know that those parents are going to have to shell out. For those products because those kids are going to demand it the, mm. the, that's the toy company of course, of course. So, so they so when you really think about it, nintendo has like a, f- a foolproof plan see this is where well i'm getting back to the genesis where genesis failed uh, when yeah. they wanted to become edgy and they were trying to appeal to a uh, like not older kids but an older demographic but yeah. there was no older demographic at that time at the time it for console games you know there wasn't any yeah. there was just you know, they were ahead they, of their time. Yeah, they were ahead. They were maybe too ahead at the time because they're still thinking. We're still thinking about like teenagers and young adults. But there was no, there was no thought to people in their thirties, forties, or fifties that may be into games, gaming. But they didn't play. They didn't grow up playing. Games. And the, and the, you know what? And the technology didn't even exist for that kind of storytelling no, until like until I mean, like Call of Duty came out and I mean, all this I kind of stuff. I remember they attempted to do some kind of narrative storytelling with this game called Flashback. I still remember that game. Hell, well. Um, anyone here who's grew up playing Sega Genesis, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But it was a kind of like futuristic noir game where this person like he wakes up, he is, and he he has amnesia, he doesn't know where he is, and he's like in this, and there are actual cutscenes on a Sega Genesis, mind yeah. you. So it was very edgy and innovative for its time. I'm pretty sure if you see it now, you'll be like, what the hell was this? Yeah. But at the time, they were trying, like you said, they were ahead of their time. They yeah. were trying to tap into and Sega that, was the first, because that, think that about niche. it. I mean, like when yeah, Sega Sadie came out, they came out with that thing. They came out with what I, what I just mentioned 
Exactly. Night he trap. came out with Sewer Shark. Sewer Shark. Night, Shark. Night Trap. And then Shenway, Shenway, you know, was like a... Shenmue or Shenway? Or, or, you know, no, something. Shenmue was Dreamcast. Oh, was it Dreamcast? Yeah, but Dreamcast. That was say, still Sega, though. Yeah, right. And, and, you know, they, they they were the ones that's like, oh, let's... let's Take this into into another, a different level. Right. To, uh, we have to t- target a different kind of audience, right. and then like you know, after a while, you know, then the Grand Theft Auto came and just you know, well, you know, were, you know they kind of laid the you know, blueprint that Sony and Microsoft would later exploit. Yes, yes, I because did, uh, so they did all the legwork, they did all the trial and error. So Sony and Microsoft, and then later developers like Square en- Square Enix and Naughty Dog. Yeah. Uh, the Naughty Dog. was pretty much laid out. Yeah. You know, they didn't have to re- recreate the wheel, reinvent the wheel. They knew what they they knew what they had to do to create an, en- an engrossing game with a stirring narrative that appealed to a certain demographic. In this case, another demographic, which was growing up playing games. Yes. You know, and would actually have an appetite for games that are a bit more mature and not games that are just yeah. silly, you know, like Mario. Like, silly. Yeah, or Sonic or something yeah, like that. So, so something a little bit more. Yeah, so they you know. just, you know, unfortunately, Sega was just, like we keep saying it, they were just ahead of the curve, you know. Yeah, this is too bad. I mean, yeah, well, someone had to do it. I mean, if anything, we should actually have a lot of appreciation for Sega. Because yeah, I mean, I do. I, I do. I totally do, right? Yeah. But it just, I getting back to the whole Nintendo this is what the conversation is just like Nintendo it's mm-hmm. like oh ooh, it's not like it's. I feel like they're never going to change in terms of like what they, they present to, to gamers and they don't need to change they're yeah. always going to be a listen um, right now the fact that people are willing to pay like $200 for an emulated version of a 25 year old system and will go into <laughs> brick and mortar stores speak, speak and for wait your, o- speak for yourself and wait <laughs> online <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm not going to deal with that kind of self-righteousness because right now I'm making a point. But as I was saying, the fact that they are willing to get something for the sake of nostalgia yeah. shows the 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 I said this earlier, the vein that Nintendo can just tap into it. Well, I think Genesis did the same thing. I think they made a miniature Genesis, didn't but they? But that's the problem. See, I think what Nintendo has done so well, they use the laws of scarcity. Yeah, they, yeah they do. They it's do. It's so easy to find Genesis products. Yeah, they but totally But it is do. hard as hell to find a Nintendo product. Yeah. Look at those Mebos. I mean, you can't find them. You have yeah. people like who are haggling on eBay just to get something that was released in small quantities. Because once again, Nintendo is a toy company, and that's how you make your toys yeah. desirable. Totally, I, I totally agree so with that. I, 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 totally I, can't agree. Hate, I mean, you know what? Them, and I, I never even thought of it that yeah. way, though. I just thought of it as a toy company, and rather than people something forget that. Right but they said, "Why don't they just make more?" Because they're a toy company, so they're yeah. not going to make more. The reason why you couldn't find Leonardo if you were a new collector growing up was that you because, you because of that very reason. Because everyone knew Leonardo was the freaking popular turtle, so they made less of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, a, it's an interesting <laughs> point that you brought up with the whole because they came out in the 1900s of so the whole years of experience yeah. that they have as a yep. card company, and oh they have to the, they they, yes. they know the economics of it, which is a, mm. I didn't even think about that. That's, yeah. a, great, that's a great point. That's the advantage that's they point. have. They have that like, listen, they have cornered the market on uh, making gaming for kids. Yeah, like cornered it totally. So totally. that's never going to change. And I think you know Sony and Nintendo, they've kind of like settled into just being like a multi-purpose entertainment system plus gaming for mature gamers yeah. they may have the occasional like you know i mean can you even name kids games on those consoles you can only name like them on like one, two, one hand or maybe yeah. two hands but but, but but not knocking nintendo when they do ask their party developers to make new games for them they do expect a certain degree of quality yeah. that's what that's another thing about the genesis that was a bad, pretty bad because genesis had a lot of awful games yeah. Right, and and compared to Nintendo, because Nintendo, like, I don't think Genesis demanded that that kind of quality well, from well, their third-party developers. Did your book talk about the contracts that um, Nintendo used to sell with the sign, so sign with third-party developers? They, where they pretty much monopolize. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, they yeah, talk, so you yeah, read about that. yeah, of course. So, that, so yeah. that's kind of a reason why Genesis yeah. just basically kind of almost acted like an indie developer 
where's like, hey, we'll take whatever and game. You know what it, that's why you had games like, what was that stupid game? With you know what surfer? else they did monopolize too, the, right? Uh, it's the reviews on their games because they reserved the reviews <laughs> for Nintendo Power, but yeah. all of these other uh, all these other game magazines they couldn't review the games until they were already out, like wow. like like. EGM or Game Pro and all this mm. stuff—they couldn't get their hands on it, and that created animosity yeah. towards Nintendo. So mm. everybody was like, you know, Genesis, well, mm. Sega, like, they gave them like, oh, let's give these guys the games, let's give them to review, and it, like, uh, they'll get more, they'll get more exposure. Yeah, you know, and that to that, you know, even even like when you talk about monopolizing, even reviewing the games mm -hmm. access to having the games right, right. it was almost a monopoly on that it was almost kind of like mafia like <laughs> mafia that's a good way to put it yeah. Damn you, okay yes, anyway it's Mario that, 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 that would make a lot of sense no? yeah. Mario's Italian I, I love Italians no wrong, hey, we, we can't yeah. Can no, but hey, you, you said mafia, so they, <laughs> they yeah. are like that is Mario. Mario <laughs> that is Mario. <laughs> you know, it's a real Mario. Give me all your money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for the protection money. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. It's the extortion. <laughs> extortion. <laughs> like, That's an Nintendo way. Go, go to the Mushroom Kingdom. Oh, Mario, I don't got any money anymore. Don't give me that excuse. Give me the money. <laughs> give me the money. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh God. Uh, Anyways, so that is our episode for Pit Fighter. Stay away from this game. Stay away. <laughs> Just I mean, watch the first five minutes. That's all you need to I know. I mean, if you want to get your, you know, you know, you want to get into the pit, you know. <laughs> if you want, if you want to know why Mortal Kombat exists and why we should give thanks every single day why it exists, play this game. Yeah. Ah. You, you will look at Mortal Kombat and you will probably send a prayer up to heaven saying thank, yeah, God thank, they made thank it. you. Thank um, you. What's that guy's name? Those new, new Mortal Kombat's are very unbelievable. They look very you're, good. You're gonna you're, you're, awesome. you're, you're gonna build a shrine to Noob Sabot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you <laughs> <And> will. Tobias. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's our episode of Pit Fighter. Thank you for joining us and uh, leave luck to heaven. Leave luck.